All right, um, so this is the next day, or actually the next evening. And uh, so this is starting a part two of the report, uh, repair of this board. So last night I went ahead and started removing these and I was using a heat gun and I overheated the board a little bit. Um, this is more or less just cosmetic damage. It looks bad, the board separated slightly, but it's, it's really no big deal. The, the traces will be fine. Um, even though this happened, I'm not too upset about it because I did want to get these ROMs out of here and put sockets. Um, but that being said, um, after reading the manual uh, on the self-test, I don't think the ROMs are bad. I actually think it's one of the 2114 RAMs. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this job, clean this up, install the sockets, and put the ROMs back in. And then I will focus on the RAMs. I'll, I'll replace those. Um, and, and I bet you that gets past the RAM, ROM error, whatever is happening in self-test. So let's continue. All right, so we're continuing now. Um, I completed swapping out these ROMs. And these are uh, good programmed ones. Um, also went ahead and replaced the two um, program, ro program RAMs. And those were uh, 2114 type RAMs. Um, but we're still getting the same problem. Still garbage uh, screen or error message. Uh, it's trying to say bad RAM or bad ROM. Um, it's definitely not bad ROM. Those have been replaced. So it's got to be bad RAM. Um, I don't know if the self-test test the playfield ROMs. Or I'm sorry, RAMs. These 2102 uh, type RAMs. Um, if it does, then one of these is bad or some sort of controlling logic is bad. So I'm going to start probing around and looking at the signals. Um, see if I can figure out uh, if there's an obvious problem with one of the RAMs or the logic that's uh, controlling it. Or there's probably gating for the address lines and data lines coming to and from those RAMs. So, um, but that's where we're at. Replace the ROMs didn't make a difference. Replace the, the uh, two program RAMs didn't make a difference. All right, so right now I'm on the assumption that one of the playfield RAMs is, is causing the RAM error or the whatever the hell that is in self-test. Um, so I've studied the schematic, and this page here is dedicated to um, information to and from those RAMs and also controlling the RAMs. So I probed every single chip with a logic probe, and everything looked good except for this one here. This 153... Uh, 74153, uh, I believe that's a MUX, um, is not responding. The outputs are, are constantly low, even though the inputs look reasonable. So I'm going to try replacing that chip now. And that chip is, let's see, L3 is this guy right here. So I'm going to replace it, and then we will see if uh, that fixes the RAM error. Wouldn't be surprised if it did, wouldn't be surprised if it didn't. Okay, so um, I've replaced the 74153 at L3, location L3, and we have made progress. The error messages are now more clear. It's a bad ROM resetting. So bad ROM and bad, if you reset it, it says RAM and then it gets corrupted. So, hmm, getting closer. I'm not, I'm, I'm not understanding why I'm getting a bad ROM because those ROMs are known good. So must be a connection or or a bad socket or something like that. Although two sockets are new, there could only be the one, I guess. Well, I uh, will probe around and try to figure out the bad ROM. That's next. And then uh, <clears throat> once we get the bad ROMs cleared up, then the bad RAM. I'm not sure about that one, how I'm going to locate that. It's It's got to be one of these Playfield ROMs, I mean RAMs, because the uh, two program RAMs have been replaced. Anyway, progress has been made. Okay. So I've replaced this socket here and reinstalled the chip. And what do you know? Game is working. Um, let's uh, create, it, create it and listen to the sounds. So there's the um, crowd roaring sound, the crowd sound. I heard the hut sound. And the whistle sound, and that's just about it. I don't know if there's any other sounds on this. Um, so I've got audio, I've got the video working. Um, I have not been able to control, uh, test the controls 
because I don't have that set up for this harness, but that's going to be the next thing I do. So this is going to be the end of part two. Um, and if I have a part three, it will show me uh, testing with a trackball the controls. Um, I'll be wiring a, a tr trackballs for both player one and player two uh, directly on the connector there. So I think that's it for this uh, video. Looks pretty good. Good, good. Uh, Oh, I guess we should put it in self-test to finalize it. Let's see. There's self-test. All right, so RAM okay. ROM okay. And I think everything's working correctly. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.